In this exercise, you can learn how to use PHP to send SMS text messages to mobile phones programmatically and automatically. You can use this to send text messages to your website members, your clients, or customers from a web-based platform. SMS is an acronym for Short Message Service. Fire up your favorite code editor and get yourself an example.php file ready to go. And the first thing we're going to do is put the to variable in place. That's going to be equal to the mobile phone number that you want to send the text message to. So I'm just going to put 555 555 5555 at vtext.com. And this is for Verizon carrier. And you'll have different carrier domains that you'll have to put in place for people that have different phone carriers. So here is the phone number that you want to send the text message to, then the at symbol, and then the carrier. I'm going to replace this with my actual phone number when I run the test in just a moment, because I'm going to send this text message to myself. And I'm also going to give you guys a list of carriers, the domain code for popular carriers. The next variable is going to be the from variable. I'm going to make that equal to an email address that is established on the server that I'm going to be sending this message from. So if you happen to have a website or something, you want to make sure that you establish the from email address on that web server. So I'm just going to put xxxx at adamcorey.com. And when I run my test, I'm just going to simply put the actual email address that I have on my web server. The next variable is the message the actual text message itself. And that's going to be equal to whatever string, whether it be static or dynamically derived. So just for this quick demonstration, I'm just going to put a static message. And it's going to say this is a text message. Then I put a backslash n to signify new line. And then I just typed in new line. So if you want to put new lines in your text message, you can just put backslash n. And when the person gets the text message, they'll see this on one line and then this on the next line. Now the very next variable is going to be the headers and inside of the headers I'm just going to put from colon space and then the from variable which is right here and then we put backslash n there just in case you want to have more information sent across the headers and I'm going to be giving you guys some tips after we get done testing the script regarding some important information pertaining to this. So stick around to the end if you want to hear all that. Now we're just going to fire off the PHP mail function, which is the function that we use just to ordinarily send emails. The first parameter is going to be the to variable. The second parameter is going to be the subject, and we're just going to make that blank. So you can put two single quotes or two double quotes. I'll just put two single quotes here. The next parameter is going to be the message variable. And then the last parameter we'll need is the headers. And you can put additional headers in place, and I'll discuss that at the end. So basically, that's the gist of it. Now, what I'm going to do is change this to my actual phone number, and I'm going to change this to my actual email address that's established on my server. And then I'm going to make sure I load this up to my live web server and give it a test. All right, here I am at my live web server using a browser and I've input example.php into the URL address bar. Now I'm just going to hit enter to make that load again, and then I'm going to wait and see what happens to my phone. And there it is. Now I'm turning on my phone, opening it up, and there is the text message. It says this is a text message, and then the next line down it says new line. Now don't bother navigating to that URL because I've already removed the file so you'll just get a 404 if you try to do that. Now where I have this script available at developphp.com I'm also going to have this listed on the page which are popular SMS gateway domains and you can see that I used vtext because I have Verizon as my carrier. So here's the Verizon gateway domain vtext.com Virgin Mobile Altel, AT&T, Boost, Republic Wireless, Sprint, T-Mobile, and U.S. Cellular. Now there's also something called HLR Lookup API, which you can research on your own, which is something that will allow you to automatically detect what carrier is related to the phone number 
the mobile phone number that the user gives you. So I'll leave you to look that up on your own. And since that can get sometimes costly and a little complex, you might just want to request the carrier from the person, from the user. So you can request a carrier. For instance, I would tell the web platform that I have Verizon Wireless. And that way the program knows to use vtext.com as the carrier gateway domain. So that could be an easier workaround instead of using an HLR lookup API. But that means your user will have to give you more information, which I don't find so bad. Now, the very last thing we have to discuss is additional headers. Oh, and by the way, you can just spend time researching more of SMS gateway domains that you might need. This is not a full list. This is just the more popular ones. Now, finally, let's discuss the additional headers. So if you go to developphp.com, we have the PHP video tutorial section. And in that section, we have the social, where is it? Down here, the social network development series. And here in the sign up form, you'll see that we're firing off the PHP mail function. Let me get this a little bigger. Right here. We put to, from, subject, message, and this is an HTML formatted email. And here are all of the headers. So you can see we're setting the from variable in the headers, then the MIME version, and also the content, and also the content type, which in this case was text HTML. So depending on what you need to send, you can put additional headers in place. But if you want just plain text messages, then this is sufficient. Now let's quickly discuss how to automate all of this. Whenever some kind of interaction or maybe a form being submit occurs, you might want to automatically send text messages to people. Now what you can do is just request the person's phone number and then that can be gathered out of your database at any later time to send that person a text message anytime that your web platform needs to. And you can also dynamically put in information for the message. It doesn't have to be static information like this. It can be gathered from a form or whatever. So that's how you would automate the text messaging from your web platform. And that about wraps it up. That should give you a good start into sending SMS text messages from your web platforms to either your clients, customers, or just your website members. And it would all happen programmatically and automatically. Happy coding!